time of year when we are celebrating our graduating seniors and Jack O'Neill is one of them. He just graduated from Village High School in the Springs a few days ago. His great honor giving a commencement speech. To my fellow graduates, I want to say congratulations on your high school graduation. We have overcome a year full of unprecedented and demanding challenges set forth by a devastating disease. Obviously, the disease I'm referring to is senioritis, <laughs> which unfortunately, there is no amount of masks or social distancing to keep us safe from it. In addition to his humor, Jack is quite the athlete too. He grew up swimming as a form of physical therapy. He had several surgeries as a little kid, but over the years he's grown to love the water for more than just that therapy. It's become a place of hope and healing. And now he's ready to take on something most people never thought possible, swimming on the NCAA stage. For 18-year-old Jack O'Neill, the pool is his happy place. If I really never stop moving and, you know, like being able to swim, obviously as much as I do, I train like nine, ten times a week right now. Clearly, he spends a lot of time here at the Pikes Peak Athletic Club in Colorado Springs. I'm a big 400 freestyle kind of guy. Um, I'll do some uh, backstroke, but yeah, free and back is kind of my thing. Jack's been swimming since he was a little kid. Years later, one might call him a high school star athlete. And in the fall, he's headed to the University of Wyoming, where he's already been accepted onto the D1 swim team. It's been like something that I've just stuck with, and I've, I've loved it forever, and I'm super excited to continue at Wyoming. And luckily, I've had like a great team here at Pikes Peak Athletics to uh, help me reach my goals. But keep in mind, he's doing all of this with one leg. Jack was born with a debilitating leg deformity. His left leg wasn't growing properly. He struggled through surgery after surgery. They put rods in my bones and we broke the bones in my leg to grow my leg every single day by twisting rods. It was terrible. It was really painful, but a good way to keep me moving and uh, keep weight off of my leg was to be in the water. And so kind of where I started swimming, which is kind of funny that something so terrible brought me into something that I love so much. After years of trying to improve his mobility, Jack was ready for a prosthetic. When I was nine years old, I was like, I've had enough. I want to amputate my leg. Nearly a decade later, it hasn't slowed him down one bit. I qualified for the Colorado State meet under the able-bodied times, which was something pretty cool. Jack is now one of the few disabled D1 athletes around the country competing in the NCAA. It's something he sees as an honor and an opportunity to raise awareness and push for more disabled athletes to compete in the coming years. Really be an advocate for not only myself, but to get more um, disabled athletes into the, into the NCAA because I think we really do have a place there. And I think, I mean, you could ask my coach, my teammates right now, what I bring to the table. And I think it's something that the NCAA should start embracing. And so I'm excited to start that challenge and really see what I can do with it. And it doesn't stop there for Jack. He's also on the emerging U.S. Paralympic team, which helps elite adaptive athletes develop, train, and compete. Jack hopes one day he'll be at the Games representing the United States. Training for trials right now, basically just a good experience for when I go into 2024 really serious about, you know, making the team and all that. Now keep in mind, in 2024, the Paris Olympics and Paralympics, that's going to happen before Jack graduates from the University of Wyoming. So he's got a lot to look forward to. He's also a triathlete. He loves to run and to bike and to swim. So it gives him some options when it comes to what discipline he might qualify for. And just to be clear, when he competes in, in NCAA competitions, he is not in a special like Paralympic division. He's nope. competing against regular, not regular, but uh, able -bodied regular able-bodied swimmers, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, and he's only one of a few disabled athletes to be in the NCAA. Wow. So he thinks that's just a huge honor, and hopefully more athletes like him join the ranks. Good for him. That's amazing. Thanks, yeah. Brian.